Well, last week at Summerlees, I mentioned that Summerlees was one of the two best reserves in Northamptonshire, the other one being Titchmarsh, and we're at Titchmarsh today. It really is a jewel of a reserve and makes up part of the Nen Way. Well, the last couple of days, Friday and Saturday, we've had some much needed rain after a bit of a dry period, but uh, as the morning wore on, it did warm up and we did get some blue sky. Well, there are five bird hides here at Titchmarsh at the moment. One of the hides was badly vandalised and has now been dismantled and is going to be replaced by a viewing screen at some point in the future. And also the boardwalk here has seen better days and that's uh, due to be replaced. The Titchmarsh side of the reserve runs alongside one of the most picturesque stretches of the River Nen and is extremely popular with all kinds of pleasure craft. Well, as an extra bonus when we got here today, we were treated to a fly pass by this classic World War II Dakota aircraft. Well, anything to do with classic trains, planes and automobiles is another interest of mine. I also like to make uh, little films about those every now and then. But today we're here to film the more organic wing creatures like this small skipper butterfly that we noticed along by the river. On the whole, there's not many butterflies about though. There's a few damselflies, common blues, and of course Titchmarsh is really excellent for these banded damozels, this pair just mating. There's quite a lot of flora on view today. We've got uh, flag iris and lots of uh, dog rose that vary in colour from pristine white to pink. Okay, to the bird life, it was nice to see common terns fishing on the lakes and also along the river Nen. Real masters of the air, common terns. Well, we were just discussing what species these ducklings were when we heard a cuckoo in the background. And indeed there it is, in the far tree there. It's a male, but we also heard a female as well. But back to these ducklings. Uh, it was mentioned in the hide that they were probably mallard, but they're definitely not mallard. I'm going to stick my neck out and say they're a tufted duck, although there's no parents on view. These are mallard ducklings, and you can see the difference. So uh, pretty sure they were tufted duck. Also a good view of this male little grebe. Lovely shot there, just reflected in the calm water. And also uh, a male gadwall there. And this male shoveler duck just going into his uh, eclipse plumage. He's finished breeding now, he doesn't have to attract a female, so uh, he's going to revert to a much more drab female-like plumage. And also this tree attracted two of our species of woodpecker, this green woodpecker. And also uh, in the top there you can just see a great spotted woodpecker, looks like a juvenile green woodpecker just moved up the tree a little bit and he's having a preen. You can uh, just see in the bottom right of the picture there the feeders that have been put out here and they really are attracting uh, some decent birds. These uh, lovely goldfinch and uh, greenfinch and this female great spotted woodpecker and there's the juvenile one of our offspring I presume and just uh, on the post there and uh, now on the nut feeder. And that's one very lucky young woodpecker because uh, just after I finished this shot a sparrow hawk came in and made a grab for it but, but it lives to peck another day. Well the bushes and the reed beds here at Titchmarsh gradually revealed their occupants like this reed bunting and probably the best view of a sedge warbler I've got in a long time. It's pretty frustrating from a filming point of view. You hear the constant chatter of these birds and also reed warblers but you only catch glimpses of them but Titchmarsh really delivered today because as you can see I also got the best footage in a long time of reed warblers too and certainly the best footage using HD cameras well earlier we heard and then saw the cuckoo and of course reed warblers and sedge warblers are the main victims of uh, cuckoos the female cuckoo will come along lay her single egg in a sedge warbler or a reed warbler nest, also other birds, but mainly uh, reed and sedge warblers. And then when the cuckoo chick hatches, it'll coolly remove all the other eggs from the nest. But if the other chicks have happened to have hatched out, the cuckoo chick will coolly remove those too, because it wants its surrogate parents to concentrate on it alone. Well, it was a really 
brilliant day here at uh, Titchmarsh today. The reserve really delivered and also got my first clear shot of a chiff chaff in quite a while. So I'll leave you with that and see you next time.